In this session, we will learn about how to sort pandas data frame based on the column. So as we can see, we have imported the pandas and we need to get the train data set, which is a titanic data set. And we will uh, create a data frame, empty data frame, and we will populate two columns from the train data set, which is name and, and the T class. We will execute this. So now our DF uh, data set, data frame DF is created with two columns, name and T class. Now, if we want to sort this data frame DF based on the descending order, so what we'll do, we'll simply give df dot so sort underscore values and then the columns by which we need to sort. So here, suppose if we give the name column on which we need to sort and we give the ascending is equal to ascending is equal to zero means it's not in the ascending order and in place is equal to true. It means it will save the df whatever uh, changes we are making uh, to this data set df it will save there and then and there itself so if we see now the df is changed okay it's then it's based on the descending order and the p class 3 both okay mainly on the descend name column now if you want to sort it based on the ascending order just we need to give here ascending is equal to one click just give it so now you see the name column is changed okay it's now based on this name column now suppose if we want to sort it based on more than one columns okay we want to sort it based on both the columns of df so in that case what we'll do we'll give sorry df dot sort values by equals to name comma which is the other column p class comma Ascending is equals to comma false comma in in place is equal to true as I have already explained. It will save the data set then and there itself. You don't have to copy it to some other data set. And ascending is equal to true means this data set will be sorted based on the name and for uh, p class it will be on the descending order. So you can see it is for the name it's ascending for the uh, p class it's descending order. Now, if we suppose if you want to sort the DF data set to those two columns based on both the P class and the name, okay, then we will execute like this. Our DF1 is created. We can see P class starts from 1 and then it will be followed by 2 and 3. And our name will be uh, starts from A, which is the very first field A, and then followed by all the other letters. Now, if you want to, uh, like we will create a new data set df2 and we will want to the <coughs> sort the data frame based on the ascending order of p class, but for the name, it should be in the descending order. So for that, we will give false. Okay, so df2, see, p class, it's ascending order 1, but for the name, it's descending order. Fine. Now, we will again follow the different approach. Now, what we will do? Here in this case, we will uh, based on the like the name will be in the ascending order, whereas P class will be in the descending order. Okay, so DF3 name is in the ascending order, whereas PSP class in the descending order. You can see it very clearly, right? Now the final we don't want to uh, like sort any of the column based on the ascending order. Everything should be based on the descending order. So, so not this one it should be df4 okay so we, you can see that both the name and the p class is sorted both on the based on the descending order so this is a simple way and this is uh, how we can use uh, uh, sorting to sort the data frame based on the call so thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please post uh, please comment and press the like button and also subscribe to this uh, channel also if you want me to cover any other topic please post in the comment section thank you